Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Colin Baines Technical Services. Uh, this tutorial I wanted to show you how to use XBMC over your network. Now first we're going to set up a web server using XBMC and then we're going to change the default um, interface for the uh, server to Chorus which is an interactive interface where you can stream both music and, and video content over your network using Google Chrome. So first we'll set up the server, then we'll change our interface to Chorus and install it. Um, in order to access your server remotely using Chrome, we'll have to find your local address to your server, which I plan to show you how to do. Um, and then lastly, we'll access your XPM server remotely using that IP address or uh, domain name that we find um, using that procedure. Now first we're going to switch over to XBMC and I'll show you how to set up your web server and change your interface to Chorus. Now if we navigate over here to our uh, XBMC application we can um, proceed to navigate to System settings and then we'll go to services navigate down to web server navigate over to the right and enable allow control of XBMC via HTTP leave the port at 80 leave the username at XBMC scroll down and click and press enter on web interface now we will go over and click get more we will navigate to chorus we will install chorus as you can see we're now downloading chorus which should be done shortly chorus add-on enabled down at the bottom right so now we will go back and we will go to services remote control and we will make sure to enable allow programs on other systems to control XBMC. Now that that's enabled we will go back and we will actually go to services again go to web server and change our web interface to chorus which we just downloaded and enabled and now we can exit out of the settings menu. Now we'll proceed to find your local address to your server. In order to do, in order to do this, we will go to search, start search, type cmd, press enter. Now in the command prompt we will type ipconfig slash all and you'll get this whole mess of text but if you just scroll up we are either going to use our um, combination of host name which here is Colin and connection specific DNS suffix home. So for my example my domain would be colin.home. Press enter and you should be good to go to navigate to your server on uh, any device in your homestead. Another method you can do is just use your IPv4 address which is for my case 192.168.1.5 So now that you have found those it would be a good idea to either write those down or type them up into a little notepad document so you don't forget. Now that we got our domain name or our IP address to our um, XBMC server, we can open up Google Chrome and navigate to our server. For my purposes, I'm going to use my own personal IP address. It will probably be different on your local network. Now that we're at Chorus, I'd like to make a note that um, if you haven't imported your uh, videos into your library and scraped for media, you may want to do that before um, starting your 
user experience with the Chorus interface. I've noticed that Chorus utilizes the TV shows and movies directories that are created by XBMC when you import your media into the library. Um, if you haven't done that, you will not get these uh, this movie category and the TV shows category. As well, all your uh, content won't have proper artwork attached to it inside the Chorus interface, as we'll soon discover as we explore. Um, if you'd like more information on how to properly import your media into your library in XBMC, I'll probably post a uh, link in the description. Now first off, I'll point out the two tabs we have up top. Uh, the first tab, XBMC, is a representation of the interface that controls the local XBMC client running on your computer. Um, the local tab is used when you're on a browser on another device where XBMC is not installed and you'd like to stream your content. To differentiate between the XBMC tab and the local tab, the local tab has a lighter gray interface while the XBMC tab has a darker gray interface. Over on the left here we have several categories that we could choose from in the chorus interface. First we have artists, music, movies, TV shows, thumbed up, favorited, and files. First we'll go to artists. Now in artists we have a display of our albums that we have added to um, XBMC library. Um, as well, we have recently played albums in this module. Going down from there, we have music, which gives you a little more criteria to sort with. Recent, recently added, recently played, genres, and years. And these are our albums that we have added. As far as movies, we can keep going, and you can sort your movies by recently added, all movies, genres, years. Same with TV shows. You can sort by recently added, all TV, and genres. Now going back up to movies, I will show you how to stream your content in your local browser. If you click this title underneath the DVD artwork, you'll reach a page that will be the overview tab for this movie and it'll give you the plot description, the rating, the duration, file information, and um, MPAA rating. Now if we were to go to cast, we could see a list of the cast in the movie. Um, then we can go to stream. Now on the stream tab, the HTML5 player only works with a few different file formats, so it's somewhat limited. If you click uh, the HTML5 player and your content seems to be uh, streaming for a very long time, you could uh, loading for a very long time. You could go ahead and close that, and you can launch VLC Player. It's also important to note that within the window for Chorus Video, you can click Play in HTML5 here, and you can also download the video to your local machine. I have DivX set up, so for some file formats, if I click uh, download video, it'll load into DivX web player. And of course down here you can direct download as well. Now continuing down to TV shows, um, you'll notice that we can also click the title under the uh, TV show artwork here, and we have the same features. Um, almost. We have rating, we have plot. If you go to cast, you'll get a list of cast. If you go to stream, 
you could then um, stream an HTML5 player. If that doesn't load, once again, you can launch in VLC player, and you can also direct download that file. This, this could be a solution for anybody who wants to stream content uh, other than on your own local uh, XBMC library. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.